I think the day has finally come where I get to destroy or get rid of all of these stupid wires in this car, which makes me really, really happy. So Dad and I, uh, we have been trying to pull everything back to the center of the car. We ended up cutting a loom that seemed like it was like three feet thick worth of wires that went through the firewall. It wasn't, obviously, but uh, it was definitely a bundle that was like this big. So we went ahead and bucked all those right in half, cut them, and now we're left with this monstrosity of a pile of wires. Get out of here! <laughs> this is just my car. It's like, you know, 17 feet long total, bumper to bumper. I couldn't even imagine what all amount of wiring goes into a 747, like an airplane. You know, they got your little phone chargers in every single seat. I mean, this right here is like 35, 40 pounds worth of crap. Well, I will say, it does feel more spacious. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a little bit more clean and I'm pretty stoked on it. I wanna paint the whole thing, the whole entire inside of the car and I'm gonna kinda of leave the seam like right about here. So to me, inside of the car is dictated by this little seam right here. So I think that I'm just gonna do everything on the inside of the car, steal it gray. Uh, which I got a couple cans over there. I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, I don't know, man. I think it's time to start scotch brighting, which is going to be a real tough job because then you're just kind of like scrubbing down every little square inch of this thing for a while. things that I mega suck at is losing hardware. So I'm always just throwing bolts somewhere because I'm thrashing trying to take the car apart as fast as I can, just trying to be efficient and it's really easy to lose hardware that way. So what I've been doing lately is every time I have little bits of hardware that I need to hang on to, say these four little screws that hold on this fuel cover plate, I just roll them up in a little bit of painter's tape and tape them onto the piece itself so that when I go to assemble this thing, I they're already there, it's already on it. This piece is much easier to find than four individual little bolts. So I figured it'd be a good idea to yank the windshield out. A, because I really want to be able to stitch weld this A-pillar on the outside, because it looks really cool and it's going to help with that strength and rigidity from the cage. Also, with the windshield, then it's going to be very, very difficult to paint uh, these A-pillars and like the whole front side right here, which is really obvious when the car's coming straight at you. So I had my buddy Otis come over and he pulled the windshield out and we found just a little bit of rust right here, right up around, along this brow area. So what I did was I took an angle grinder uh, and put a, a wire wheel on it and went ahead and wire wheeled some of it out. Otis said this is pretty common with a lot of these cars that are this old. This thing is a 95, so it is, it's got a couple years on it. But what we're going to do is uh, none of it really is like too bad, so we're just going to hit it with some primer. Otis said it's pretty much good. We'll re-glue a new windshield in here as soon as we get done painting it, but now I figure I need to scotch bright all this, scuff it up real nice, and then I'm going to grab that welder and go ahead and lay these beads right in here. Um, that will be the last weld on the chassis for the case. I came from the mud there's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Boy, you don't realize how big a car is until you have to scuff down the entire body on the inside of the car. We're not even doing the outside even, and it still feels like a lot. Putting the, uh, putting the elbow grease to work for sure. Catch me at the All right, so we are dang close. We got pretty much the whole outside of the car taped off or we got a blanket laid over it. So we're gonna try and minimize the over spray as best as we can. Um, I'm just giving it a final wipe down with some cleaner. Uh, we pretty much scotch brighted everything, taped off the back window. I mean, <laughs> every time I do this, it just blows me away how much work it actually is. But yeah, the finished product is worth it for sure. The, the quality of the paint is in the prep work. So. We're spending a bunch of time getting it all prepped up and uh, I just can't wait for this thing to be all nice and clean and gray. I'm really excited for it. So just about to start blasting after we make sure that we're all good. I'm gonna start from the back, paint everything back there first and then just work our way forward. Well, let's do it. Smokes, this thing looks like an entirely new car. I'm so stoked on it. 
it's always a lot of work every time, but honestly, it's so worth it because this thing, like it was so bad before, like red is definitely not my favorite color for a chassis. And that mix with it was like dirty and the paint was faded here and there and some of it was good and some of it wasn't, but just gave the thing a whole real good scotch bright over and like this thing is unbelievable. I still gotta peel out all the stuff from the back window, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait till it dries completely before I even bother climbing in there. I'm sure there's gonna be a tiny couple little spots that I missed, but again, I'm gonna wait until it dries. And then the cool part about the steel of paint is that it touches up really, really nice and you can never tell the difference. So overall really stoked, I can't wait. Like this thing is like a whole new machine. It like feels completely different in my eyes. So I can't wait to whip some seats back in it and of course go shred this thing. Whoa.